Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, got another one from Best Tech here. This is the Best Tech Keen 2. Now, I know I talked about it in my recent skirmish video here, but we saw something from, you know, in the skirmish, we saw something from their budget line. Then we saw uh, the specialized skirmish, if you will, with that Damascus G10 and the Damascus Blade. Something, well, this is definitely from Best Tech's premium line of knives. This, as I said, is the Keen 2. Now, it is a design by Morgan Cohen of Cohen's Craft. So, and obviously, like I said, produced here by Best Tech. But I think I have a title for this one because this is kind of beauty and beast all wrapped up into one knife. And we'll we'll get to that. But uh, we'll kind of talk about the beauty part of it. The carbon fiber in this is gorgeous. Uh, it's really got a nice shimmer in it and you can catch the light with it. I mean, you get this out in the natural light and it just really, really does shine. Do you have a lanyard hole there? Now it is right hand tip up carry only with the ti uh, titanium one side and the carbon fiber the other. It is only right hand tip up carry. So sorry, my lefty friends, but hopefully we make the lanyard fans happy with that. You do have a titanium backspacer as well. Titanium clip, as I mentioned. Now it's a little shallow on the clip, but I didn't have any issues with it any any way shape or form uh, i you know that was one thing that i noticed right off the bat um everything again everything is chamfered i mean if you can take a look i mean look how nicely the titanium is chamfered now the carbon fiber side is not chamfered as much but it's not sharp or anything like that it's it's had the the correct attention paid to it now, with this one, you do have dual thumb studs. Obviously, it's a frame lock there. You do have the dual thumb studs, and you do have that small little fuller there that I actually can reverse flick it. Now, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit because this is where the beast comes in. This is a large knife. The action is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it jumps out there off the thumb studs. I can middle finger flick it. As I said, so those you professional flickers out there shouldn't have much problem if I can do it. But really, really nice looking blade. Nice kind of stone wash there on the grind, as you can see, and kind of a satin flat. I really like the contrast in that. Try not to get too much light on it, but it looks really, really nice. And then that fuller just looks pretty nice in there too. Now, like I said, it's a larger knife, but it feels really really good in hand now i was concerned about you know with the, with it being a little bit larger this is going to hit me uh, in my ring finger but you know what it doesn't and that made me very very happy that made me very happy um to do that because some of the larger knives they do they just kind of hit me wrong and this one not so much maybe it's not quite pronounced enough i don't know but it feels pretty good so what do we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holy cow. You're looking at nine and three quarters on this thing. This is a large, large knife. Looking at a right about oh, five and a half on the handle. And then there you go, about four and a quarter on the blade. And it's pretty much a full cutting edge. We got to come back a little bit. I mean, it's just shy of four and a quarter on that cutting edge. And then your grip length, your look, your grip length natural point is every bit of four inches, maybe just a little bit more. And then there you go. That's kind of how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. I have absolutely a lot left over. Can I choke up on it? Uh, not really. Not really. I am, no. I'm right on the corner of that blade. So choking up, which I would like to do since it is a little bit larger knife, but it's really not an option for me. Um, those of you with larger hands, uh, Pete, a therapeutic edge. I, I don't know, man. I, I think this might be one uh, that you might enjoy quite a bit. But there you go. There you go. You've got Maker's Mark, 
Morgan Cohen. Now it's S35BN on the blade steel. Titanium one side, carbon fiber on the other. Now there's your size comparison with the PM2. Yeah, it, it, it dwarfs the PM2. Just, yeah, it just does. I, I don't know else how else to say that. And obviously, if it dwarfs the PM2, it's going to dwarf the bug out even more. So we'll get... Yeah, it's nice. The action on it is really, really nice. I, I like that type of action a lot. Now, larger knife, going to weigh a lot more. Not a lot more, but 5.3 ounces or 149 grams. So it's a big, big knife. And that's kind of where I was getting the beast aspect. Now there again with the clip, um, it actually does go in the pocket really, really well. Um, holds in the pocket really well also. Now you do have a little bit sticking out, about a half inch. You know, with that milled clip, it's not deep carry. But... Everything about this knife, I am, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I really am. And it, now it is a lot larger than what I normally carry. Absolutely, 100%. And for that reason is larger knives usually just don't fit my hand very well. This one is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, those of you with larger hands... I think, obviously, it's going to fit you a little bit better than it fits me. Um, but overall, it's just, it's not bad. The action, I mean, it's just so, so nice. Jumps out on those thumb studs really well. Like I said, I can middle finger flick it. I, I It's not with authority. Uh, my Apparently, my flicking fingers, but I can do pretty good with it. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, overall, it's a really nice larger knife. It's definitely, that's where my, the beauty is definitely there. I really like the overall look of the knife. And it's a beast at nearly 10 inches long. Um, yeah. <laughs> it just is. It just is. Again, I have to thank Best Tech for sending this one out. Very, very cool of them to send out this one along with both versions of the skirmish. Um, they're actually kind of doing a little bit of a pass around, which is very cool um, that they run themselves from the sound of it. And these are going to our good friend, said Stevie. So check out what said Stevie thinks about them. Always love to hear what he thinks as well. Um, I'm not sure who else they're going to be going to, but I know I send them to him. So You'll be seeing these coming up on his channel probably pretty soon, Instagram, however he wants to do it, but you'll be seeing more of them for sure. Now, availability and pricing. I said, this is their premium line. Uh, these are going to sell for about $2.98. They're not available everywhere as of yet. It's kind of the same way with this, this the skirmish was. Um, the, Dam the Damascus G10 Skirmish. These aren't available everywhere. They're listed as coming soon on a lot of places. I'll try to find you a, a good link that you can go check them out um, if you would like to. So just check the description. There should be a link down there for you. Hopefully, I can find out where they're out and you can take a better look at them. But for sure, always appreciate you. Thanks again to Best Tech for sending these out. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking it out with me today. As always, like subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.